is just supposed to be a tow vehicle. I want to keep this one nice. I don't need a second project. I don't need to modify I'm this. only going to use it to tow my I'm car. I'm not super into driving I didn't buy it to wreck it. It's a Lexus. I want to keep it nice. I bought it for one thing, and that's to tow my FRS to the track. Hey, Kevin, want to go off-roading? Yes! This is my 2009 Lexus GX470. I purchased it because I've been doing a lot more track days lately, and if my FRS ever blows up, I still need to be able to get home. That said, it was not difficult to convince me to take this truck off-road, and I'm astounded by what it can accomplish, and on street tires no less. When I bought the truck, it was a pristine example with 150,000 miles on it, and everything in the truck worked except for the passenger side mirror motor. That said, there was no sticker or anything indicating that the timing belt had been changed, so I had that service done, as well as replacing a leaking radiator and a seized caliper. Beyond that, the only cons about it is typical wear and tear, like faded plastic on the headlights, and rock chips on the hood and grill. There are a few quality of life gripes that I have with the interior, however, namely the fact that there are effectively only four usable cup holders in the whole truck, and the fact that if you got the navigation upgrade, it moves the climate controls to the touchscreen, which is aggravating in the fact that it makes an aftermarket head unit for the infotainment an absolute migraine to deal with. However, I solved this particular issue with a good phone mount and a $30 Bluetooth adapter that plugs into the aux input. A couple of things I really like about the interior include the power memory steering wheel, which moves out of the way when you turn the key, the physical lever that you use to go to low gears, and the adjustable rear air suspension, which is awesome for loading and unloading cars onto a trailer. One big thing that separates the GX from other SUVs is the fact that it has a barn door instead of the traditional hatch. The door locks in place so that it doesn't swing shut on its own, but even so, it still takes some getting used to. Only a couple months into owning the GX, I accidentally dropped the door on a trailer as I was unhitching it from the ball, something that wouldn't have happened if the truck had a traditional lift hatch. As I mentioned before, towing is what I primarily intended to use this truck for. But now I've gotten a little taste of dirt, and I want more. I've already bought new wheels and tires, and I would have already installed them if I hadn't gotten into a little incident a few months ago, but I digress. The GX's road manners are about what you might expect. It's big, easy to see out of, and hefty, and the V8 is smooth and responsive. The tall greenhouse coupled to a relatively narrow wheel track causes turns to feel exaggerated, but once you're used to that, then you hardly notice it. Interestingly, what you notice the most is the lack of noise. For a huge truck punching a hole through the air with all the finesse of a sledgehammer, it is surprisingly quiet and civilized inside. As far as modifications go, I don't think that it needs much. Wheels and tires to help it when I'm taking it through muddy stuff, sliders and armor for when I go over rocky stuff, and some lighting modifications in general simply because the stock stuff sucks. If the air suspension ever dies, then I'll probably just replace it with a coilover setup, but for now the adjustability helps a lot for loading a trailer. All in, I never thought it would be a truck guy. I know that this is not an actual truck, but it's body on frame, so who cares. It's fun, and it's comfortable, and I can see myself taking it on many adventures and keeping it for a very long time.